My name's Seth, I'm with Gerber Knives, Industrial Design Manager. I uh, just wanted to go through a couple new products with you today. Uh, here we have the Empower Automatic Series. This is based on our Propel Automatic that we've been a fairly successful knife for a number of years. Um, we've upgraded this series from G10 with a stainless backspacer to all machined aluminum with an integrated lanyard hole. Uh, some machined and jimping. There is a, each one gets a different uh, insert, sort of a grippy detail that is, you know, geared more towards the EDC crowd than the tactical crowd. So pockets really nice, tip up, tip down, carry. Uh, it's the Empower. So uh, tell me about changing the material and how it's nicer on pockets and things like that. Oh yeah, sure. So the, the, the G10, this texture G10 on the Propel series, I mean, it's definitely built for a more, you know, tactical utilitarian application, but the fact is it is very, very hard on pockets. It'll, it'll tear them up pretty good. Um, our general manager over here, Andrew's pockets can attest to that because that's his everyday carry. So as you mentioned, uh, with, with the everyday carry application in mind, you know, this has a much more streamlined uh, texture, essentially. There's, there's not a whole lot that's going to interfere with uh, the life of your, your pants. So, A good standard for, uh, for Gerber for a long time has been the, uh, the Fairbairn Applegate Covert Automatic Series, the full-size Covert and the Mini Covert. Um, you know, ever since I've worked at Gerber, it's been a super popular product for us. Uh, but it's always been black and partially serrated blade. So uh, we've got a couple new colors, only one here. This is a tactical gray, which is a type three anodized hard coat, uh, stonewash blade, and full fine edge on both of these blades here. So uh, slight, slight remix on a, on a classic for us. Over here, this, these are more uh, budget friendly knives here, imported knives. We. Uh, Took a look around at the at the custom knife landscape and tried to you know get a get a read on what folks were really responding to and opening their their wallets and their hearts to in the custom world. Uh, the cleaver definitely stood out as a you know fairly popular knife that uh, that we sort of wanted to bring some of the spirit of that design into a more accessible price point for folks. Um, Despite its, uh, its unique appearance, it has turned out, for me at least, to be an extremely practical blade shape. Um, I, it turns out I rarely use the tip of a knife for anything except for cleaning my fingernails or you know, knocking the grime out of an Allen screw or something like that. So missing the point from a blade, not a super big deal for me day to day. Um, great at making kindling great at slicing salami and cheese. It's just been a, an excellent uh, hiking and camping companion for me all summer. So really stoked on this one. Uh, that's called the Flatiron. Comes in tan G10 and gray anodized aluminum handles. The gray one actually happens to be Rev1. Uh, most of the changes are gonna be visible on the pile side, lock side here. Um, First version got a, a stop disc for the over travel on the lock bar there, just to try and avoid, you know, over bending the, the lock bar. Turns out that folks were having difficulty opening the guy because your, your forefinger and your middle finger wind up on the lock bar and that, that presses the detent into the tang even harder. So the harder you try to thumb this guy out, it, uh, it becomes sort of a, uh, game of diminishing returns. It's just the harder you try, the harder you're, you're pushing the lock against the tang. So what we actually wound up doing was replacing this disc with uh, this plate here, essentially. It's a, it's a landing for your, for your middle finger and forefinger, and it has sort of this, this tactile formed in feature here that lets you know, you know, you're, you're right there on the lock. Uh, leave your hand there, <clears throat> or your fingers there. And that way it, it keeps you completely away from it. So it comes right out, you're not affecting the lock at all. We moved the thumb hole a little bit farther away from the center of the axle to give people a little more purchase or a little more leverage. And your thumb kind of runs into the end of that window there and helps with one-handed opening. So this is the 
Suspension NXT, uh, sort of a refresh on our extremely popular suspension multi-tool. Uh, more of a skeletonized frame. One of the big things about this is it is a pocket clip multi-tool, so slim enough to get in the pocket. It's not super obtrusive. Um, fully featured outboard tools, so you get a real cross driver, not a stamped one. The chisels, chisel grind all there. File, which has some uh, measuring increments there. A pair of scissors, bottle opener, can opener. Uh, part serrated blade and a flat driver with a wire stripper grind on it. So those are all locking. Comes with a lanyard point there. And then same same jaws that everybody loves on the uh, on the original suspension are reused on this. Uh, you can learn more about Gerber at gerbergear.com or swing on by Blade Show West 2018 this weekend. Thanks.